So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a place card or a title card for something like a museum. And it's actually really easy to do and it's gonna be very modular. So let's take a look at what this thing actually does. So it is literally just an actor blueprint that has four pieces to it, title, information, citation, are all text renders. And then there's this piece here on the back and you can customize this till the cats come home. It's totally fine. So this text, all I have to do is come over here and say, hey, cool thing to look at. Cool, and then it puts it across there. Now, if you need to actually push this down a little bit, you can come through here, and I'm gonna hit delete the little space there, and hit Shift and Enter, and it gives me a second line, and then when I actually accept that, you see that it pushes it down. Now, that gets in the way of the information, that's fine, we can select our information, and we can actually just move this down, and we, of course, put any info in here. Good things to know, boom and so on and so forth. Now, the one here at the very bottom is actually pretty cool because if we come down here, whoops. And we give an extra line, it'll actually push it up. So it keeps it kind of on top of it. So these are the customizable things you can do with this. And let me show you how I built this. So we're gonna need an actor blueprint. So just come over here to the far left. I'm gonna say add import all the way up here to blueprint class and go ahead and just choose an actor. I'm going to name this one BP underscore place card. All right, let's go ahead and just open it up. And instead of here, and dock this up at the top, uh, I'm going to need four things. So let's go to the add component and begin with the static mesh. Go ahead and choose this one. Now, it doesn't matter what static mesh you use. You can use something out of, I don't know, whatever program you want to build it in. I'm going to go ahead and just use a cube in this one. So in the static mesh area over here on the right, I'm just going to go ahead and click here and say cube. Use the one meter cube. Now, this thing is huge. So I definitely want to kind of make sure that I know how big this is by dragging it into the world in relation to however big my character is going to be. And I do want to make sure that it's a little bit thinner. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scale tools kind of smash this down. Now, the other thing that I'm kind of considering here is that this will probably be sticking off the wall a little bit. So what I want to do is make sure that it is pulled forward away from this green axis. So I'm pulling it along the positive X like so. Now, next thing I want to add in is uh, the text renders. Um, I do want to be able to see what I'm working on and the light is on this side of it. So I'm going to hold down the L key and left mouse click and drag and I can actually move the light around this way. All right, so with the static mesh, let's go ahead and add in a text render. And we're gonna name this one title. And make sure that this is set up so that it is, and I'm worried about the pivot. I'm gonna put the pivot up here in the top corner. And then in our alignment here, I can just set this one to text top. There we go. And then it'll fit up in that little area right there. And it'll continue to move down as you add any kind of text. So there's my title. Uh, let's go ahead and add in the information. I'm just gonna select this one, hit Control W, or right click and go ahead and just say duplicate. And we'll call this one info. And we'll go ahead and pull this one down just a little bit here. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as text as is, and I'll show you why in a little bit. I do also wanna keep the orientation of the pivot on the top left of this. I'm gonna just grab that guy, duplicate another one, and we'll call this one citation. Cool, and we'll go ahead and push this one down. Now I do want to make sure that this pivot is in the bottom left-hand corner of my frame, and then I will set my vertical alignment. Let's go ahead and be the text bottom push that down a little bit. Let's go ahead and change the sizes of these two. Let's say something like our world size here. Let's set this one at like 10. And then we'll set this one at 15. And we'll push that down just a little bit. So there we go. So those are all set up and ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make variables out of these so that we can play with them in the actual editor. So to do that, we're going to go up into our construction script. So we're going to click on this tab up here at the top. And inside of here, I need to get all three of these because I'm going to go ahead and use these as guidance for all the pieces that we need to put in our text. So title, let's go ahead and put citation over here and info over there. So we're going to take this. Let's actually get these guys out of the way because it's just going to be a rinse and repeat. What I'm going to do is drag a wire off the title here and say set text. And I'm going to go ahead and use this set text right here. There we go. And we're going to connect our execution pins across. And the value right here is what this is going to say every single time. So I'm just going to right click on this and go ahead and say promote to variable. So this is going to give us an actual string. It's not text. Uh, even though it's, I guess it is text, but you can kind of put whatever you want in here. Um, so the value, I'm actually going to call this one title and then text. There we go. 
And I do need to compile this before I can actually put anything in it. Now, here's the thing I want to point out. Let's go back to the viewport here. And you'll notice that this first top title has disappeared. So because of that, this is what's actually driving it. So now I can type in title here. Go ahead and compile that. I'm going to go back up here. It now says title. Okay, so I just need to do basically the same thing for the info and the citation. So I'm just going to grab this guy, duplicate it, connect this up, and then we'll duplicate that guy, connect this one up, and we'll drop in the citation here and the info in here. And then just, again, just go and promote this to variable. We'll call this info text. Do the same thing on this one. We'll call this in citation text. We got it. Compile that. So info text. Call this one info. And then citation. Call this one citations. Here we go. So that's all we have to do. So now if we compile this, we come back here, we can see it says title, info, and citation. Now the last thing that we need to do, you will notice if I select this, I have no way of actually editing any of the information on here. So to make that happen, we have to make sure that each of these are actually editable. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is over here in the variables, I'm just gonna turn on the little eyeballs here, go ahead and say compile. So now we have our citation text, info text, and our title text over here in our details for each one of these. And what's great about this is that each one of these then becomes its own thing, and you can draw it in whatever you want. Whatever thing you want. There you go. So if you got any questions on that, go ahead and leave some comments down below, and hopefully this will help you with your projects.